Amsterdam. People come here for many reasons. But the canals deserve more attention. We deserve more attention. So after a quick check-in, where we had to pay 50 euros for maps, Ouch! it was time. First, a lesson from our local boat sensei, and then you were off. So we've just come across from somewhere down there and found this little spot for us to spend the night in. Now it's time for some food. I like the way. Oh my god. Brilliant. Nice. Now that we're set and unpacked, time for the tour. We chose this particular boat because it has an indoor and outdoor dining area and cockpit, which makes it great for warmer weather. We also used the dining areas to plan our journey, which we learnt was a good idea. Oh, it's to the left, it's to the right here. Yeah. It's to the left. I oh, know, there's no left, no? The kitchen is rather spacious and has everything you need to cook comfortably. The boat also has two bedrooms and bathrooms, so we had double the space for clothes and used the bigger bathroom as the shower and the smaller one as the toilet. This is bathroom number two, which we're using as the shower because it's the bigger of the two bathrooms. Our favorite thing about the boat though, was being able to wake up to this. This view, however, wasn't the only morning surprise. Does this place look familiar? If it does, it's because we're back where we started. Some electrical problems means that we've had to come back and a couple of their mechanics are sorting out the boat for us. Hopefully soon we'll be on our way. Let's see what happens. Thankfully, Loka Boat have a very good repair service and will even send mechanics to find you to repair your boat so you can carry on with your journey. Our mechanic even brought the SUP board Loka Boat forgot to give us on the first day. An hour later and we were on our way to Amsterdam. It wasn't long before we had come to the first lock of the journey. Be prepared to wait for up to half an hour on the busier locks. This is a good time to practice your singing. The good thing about locks and bridges in and around Amsterdam is that they are all manned which makes this trip great for newbies like us. Well done. Always make sure you are carrying cash as lock keepers must be paid in order to get through. Bye, thank you. Bye, bye, sir. After a relaxing boat ride under a few more bridges Thank you and a bit of boat envy Nice boat! We arrived at Wiesp We had originally planned to stay in Wiesp overnight but we wanted to get to the Edam Cheese Market on Wednesday morning so after a quick lunch we continued to Amsterdam Thank you. 
our lack of experience made this part a bit more stressful. That wasn't good. And the lack of planning for the bridges of the day meant that we had some communication difficulties. Hello, and we're at the bridge bending of Afghan. Um, EH22. How can you pronounce that, Dean? Bedjening op Afstan. Turns out I was saying the word remote control instead of the name of the bridge. Oh right, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <I'm not> okay. <laughs> oh, so we had to pronounce this, which was a uh, a bit hard for us. Dwyven Drexburg. Dwyven Dwyven Drexburg. That's what it says. Yeah. A cheerful Dutch gentleman showed up and told us that there was no need to call as we would fit. I think you can see why we were apprehensive. How did you find your first experience of uh, almost hitting head on a bridge? <laughs> Dutch people have a great sense of humour and the cheerful Dutch gentleman from the previous bridge turned up again to prove it by offering us his helmet. <laughs> thank you! Bye bye! Bye! Thank you! I think I asked you if you want to use it. This is it, yeah. Okay, perfect. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We have just arrived at George Marina. Luckily enough, the harbour master's wife answered the phone. And took pity on me. Yeah, she's allowed us, as you can see, to hook up to the harbour master's boat and share electricity and water with him. The local boat recommends that we call the harbours 30 minutes before to reserve, which is what we did. There was no space left for us. We didn't have any place to go. So if she wouldn't have let us hook up to this boat, in her words, we would be dead. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that's over. Amsterdam Marina behind, places to eat and things to do. So time to enjoy. <laughs> and enjoy we did. Food Harlan is a popular indoor food market housing stores of a variety of different cuisines including this Dutch specialty, Bitterballen. Everything we tried was ridiculously good. Okay, maybe not everything. Ew, boogers! We wouldn't have got to eat them in time for the cheese market by boat. So the next morning, after some efficient Dutch public transport and a short walk, we arrived. The Edam Cheese Market is the most visited cheese market in the Netherlands and has been around since 1520. The market has a great atmosphere and is also a perfect time to buy some cheese and try another Dutch specialty, Kipling. Speaking of Dutch specialties, we had to try the apple pie. Let's see. Like great great or is it just like great? No, just great. <laughs> With our bellies full, we returned to Amsterdam for a bicycle ride to Vondel Park. Next morning, we set up our maps and got ready to head through the inner Amsterdam canals, 
along the picturesque windmills of Zandam towards the quaint village of Ulkma, which you can see in part two. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make sure to watch our next video. Thanks for watching. Peace. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. We fit, we fit, we fit, relax. It's the tightest one here.